Our guest, Joe Boissy, is a painter who uses inks and acrylics to create lettering art that has many layers of meaning in its beautiful colors. So welcome, Joe. Thank you, Sally. So Joe, tell us a little bit, what exactly is lettering art? Is it calligraphy or is it something different? Well, calligraphy itself is a very complex and controversial word these days. In reality, uh, lettering is anything, anything that has to do with letters. So when I was even young, before even I started writing, my parents used to tell me I used to do calligraphy. I used to copy things without even understanding what it means. So uh, lettering art meaning the love of letters and incorporating letters into any art that you do. Uh, it doesn't have to be a 2D art. It doesn't have to be a painting. It can be a, a, a sculpture. It can be yeah. a thing. So that in lettering arts is incorporating letters. And letters doesn't necessarily mean uh, the ABC that we know in Westerwood. It can be uh, any uh, calligraphic mark, something, a gesture, a symbol, or any mark. That's mm -hmm. This one has what we call hand-drawn letters, which is a, a very meticulous uh, time, taking really your time in drawing every single letter in the process. So inside the black and around. So there are letters everywhere. Yes, letters everywhere. But it doesn't mean, Sally, that I'm looking and I'm seeking legibility. Uh, sometimes people can decipher things, can read things. Sometimes I can't read what I wrote. Uh, and that's the beauty of the process, because the whole idea is to build something that creates uh, mystery, mystique, intrigue, so you can uh, you know, play with it uh, as much as you can. Yeah, so those are beautiful. And so you brought some tools yeah. to show us how you create this. And yeah. You have a whole bunch of tools. Yes. So why don't you bring those out and yeah. show us what, so, what you have, because so these are fascinating. So here you can see um, there's a lot of tools here, uh, and a lot of them here. And you probably have um, either never seen tools like this because they don't look like pens, but they are, in fact, writing tools or marking tools, maybe a better way of describing mm -hmm. it. Uh, and some of them are machine-made, like these things. Uh, this one is called, the, for example, an automatic pen. And you can see it's two pieces of metal that uh, link together. And when you dip it in ink, it, uh, it gets through this, uh, this uh, possibility of creating you know, thin lines or thick lines. Uh, but you have like ruling pens, like, like this one, which is the same process, used to be a long time ago by, uh, by architects. We don't use it anymore because architects use computers. But in the old days, that was a typical tool for drawing. Can I see that one? That's very interesting. Yeah. And I have tools that are even more interesting. And these are tools that are completely handmade. These are, I made these tools from scratch. And uh, this is something we call either a folded pen or a cola pen. Cola pen. A cola pen. And the cola pen, the process uh, or the principle is the same. You take a, uh, a can of Coke, and you cut it into a, the, the aluminum piece of it, you oh, fold a it. a cola. Oh, yeah, so cola. that's why you said yeah. cola. That's it. Coca-Cola pen, if right. you like. And the idea is that when you have that process, now you have the possibility of having very thin lines when you can use the point of that, of that pen, right. or you may be broad edge when you go into that part of the, of the pen. And that gives you the, the flexibility within the same tool in order to make and that. And there's uh, a space in between that holds the ink? Exactly. That's oh. the reservoir, if you like, where you can get the ink, in Very fact, in between the thing. Yeah. And uh, maybe the best way to show you that is to use these tools now in front of you on a piece of paper. And then uh, we can uh, go into that. So that's, uh, that's another one, also handmade. And I'm going to use a regular ink here. Uh, it's. Um, it's called shoreline gold, but it's not gold. It's fact, it's orange. And uh, we're going to do some. Uh, some people again call it lettering art, calligraphy, etc. Would you like me to write something special? Do you have something in mind? You go ahead. You choose. Okay. Why don't we start with A, B, C? Or okay. Something like that. So, so, so something typical, recognizable yeah, first. So everyone, people understand this is an A, or this is a B, or this is a C, etc. This is an A, B, C, D, and this is a like a very, you know. Loose handwriting, it doesn't have to be complicated. So have it's, you developed your own style of yeah. calligraphy? In fact, every lettering artist, every calligrapher would have to, at one point in time, develop your own style. It is derived, obviously, from one particular thing. But the style that you develop, uh, in fact, uh, changes, and you want to adapt to what you're looking for. You, you learn what we call hands, what type of lettering mm -hmm. you're doing. But at the end of the day, it, you can use the same hand for a variety of things. There is something to talk about what I'm writing, and uh, there's something to talk about what I mean in my writing. For example, I can put good morning, and it doesn't look like good morning. It may look like good evening, and hmm. vice versa. Right. So that's the, the meaning versus the form. 
And uh, just to show the, the, the detail here, so you have that possibility of doing something very thin, and with the same tool, you can have them something much thicker or extremely thick. And uh, it, it continues, uh, you know, and then you can do abstract ideas, symbols, things like that. And so, you know, when we, when we uh, show these things in general, um, you have, you know, you can do something that is completely legible, like here, right. but you can do something completely not legible, still it's saying the same thing. And the splashes that you get here give you the, the, the contrast, the atmospheric uh, environment, and the process that lets you say, okay, well, that's, a, that's, a, that's the interesting contrast that you're building with your, with your story. And so when you have gestural things like this, it gives you a different aspect. And now you can compare, well, this is very easy to read. This is not easy to read, but, but it's, it's more interesting. But it's the same letters, right? Exactly the same letters. Uh -huh. It stops at A, B, C, D, F, T. So, but, but you can see the difference, the nuance, the, the contrast. And of course, we can do it at a much higher, uh, bigger scale. And um, you can start, like, you know, if I want to write Sally, OK? So when you're creating a work of art, mm -hmm. how, how do you start? Is this how you would start with the letters themselves? And you have a plan for it? or? Uh, it depends. Uh, more often than not, uh, when I'm doing a commission, it will start with uh, like a quote. You know, someone mm -hmm. has that, where well, I bring a quote, I need to talk about that thing. And more often than not, it, the quote will be in the piece, but not necessarily legible. You cannot right. necessarily read it. But it's there, right. and that's kind of the, the interesting aspect. Uh, sometimes it's more research about a particular, uh, you know, for example, author or poem or poet or anything like that, mm -hmm. and then you incorporate that into the story. And again, uh, there is research that has to happen. But lettering, again, I can write uh, the, same, the same Sally here in a way that you won't recognize it, but it will be maybe more interesting for you okay. or for someone else. Let's, let's like, give it a shot. So this is the S, this is the S. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe the A, I'm going to do something like that. That's the A for me. And then the double L, maybe I decide to do something like that. And the other one is a much smaller one, but much thicker here. And the Y will be maybe to complete kind of the, is just this. So now we have in the same page, a traditional Sally, more or less, but a much more interesting, intriguing Sally that you have here. 